Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a repair installation of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to do a repair installation of your Windows 11 or Windows 10 operating system. We'll be using Windows 11 as it is the more modern operating system, but the principles are very similar. I will put links in the video description below for how to actually get hold of the software. So no worries there. If you can't see it on the screen, don't worry, you can just click on those links. So you will need a couple of things, obviously, to do this. You will need a well relatively working PC in order to download the Windows 11 or Windows 10 setup files. You'll also need a USB drive, ideally eight gigabytes or larger. And also, obviously the PC that you're actually working on needs to be in a somewhat working way. You do need to be able to boot actually into Windows itself in order to do the repair installation. If for some reason you've come across this video and you wanna do a fresh Windows 11 install, don't worry, we will be doing that in a follow-up video should this not work. So let's get straight on with it. Okay, so on our Windows 11 PC, we're gonna plug in our USB drive. And as you can see, it's actually already got the installation files on there. So that's all right, not a problem. You want to go over to microsoft.com forward slash en dash GB software download Windows 11. Obviously use the particular version for your local region and you get three options for downloading Windows 11. So you get the installation assistant, which I probably wouldn't recommend at this time. You've got the create Windows 11 installation media, which is the one we're going to be using. Or alternatively, if you want to, you can download the Windows 11 disk image, the ISO. Both of these will work in similar ways, but if we create installation media, should this not actually repair the damage with our Windows operating system, we can always use it after as a bootable USB to do a clean install. So let's go ahead and click on download now. And it will ask you to save the media creation tool. I'm gonna to choose the desktop and now we can close this window. So on our desktop, we'll have a folder or a file, which looks like this, double click on it and it come up with user account control. Are you sure you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. And then it'll say getting a few things ready. You have to accept the license terms and next you can choose your language and your edition. Alternatively, if you're doing it on the PC that you're actually using at the moment, you can just use the recommended options for this PC. If you uncheck that, you can choose from the various languages which are available. And also your edition there is just gonna be Windows 11 because there's only a 64 bit version. When you're happy, click on next. And you have to choose which media to use. So you can choose now if you want an ISO file. You can do that if you want to, but we're gonna use our USB flash drive. As you can see, it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. So click on next. And it's asking to select a USB drive. Now this drive will be completely erased, so make sure it's one you're happy with. So we're gonna choose that one, which is our D drive, and click on next. At which point now, this is gonna be downloading the Windows files. Obviously, depending on the speed of your internet connection, this could take a little while. Shortly after, it will get to the point where it's gonna verify the download, and then it will start creating the Windows 11 media. Again, this could take a little while, just be patient and let it get on and do its thing. So we're kind of on 99% of creating the media. And there we go. So it's come up saying your flash drive is ready. So now we can click on finish. And now some of the setup files will be removed. So essentially that is it. Now what we need to do is to go into my computer and go into the USB drive we just created, which is the ESD-USB. And then we've got our Windows setup files. Now at this point, it would be a really good idea if you can to make a backup of your system, just in case anything should go wrong. I should stress as well that this process is just for basically resetting Windows itself. You won't lose any of your personal data, any of your settings, programs, everything will remain pretty much as it is. Obviously any files that have problems with, they will be remedied. So once you've done your backup and you're happy, you wanna continue, click on setup and then you'll get the user account control, Microsoft Windows, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. And this will begin the Windows setup. So all we've got here really is the install Windows 11. You can, if you want to, you can uncheck that. I want to help make installation better, entirely up to you. I'm just gonna click on next. 
So what it's going to do now is going to check for the latest updates for Windows 11. If for some reason you get to this point and it says this PC does not currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements because you've installed it from an upgrade, because of the new Windows 11, you have to have TPM 2.0 installed. So let's go ahead and close that. And we'll close this and we'll now go into the BIOS and we'll turn on TPM and Secure Boot. To get into the BIOS for most systems, it's just tapping the delete key. Obviously press whichever key is suitable for your particular system. So we're gonna go into settings and we wanna go into advanced, uh, Windows OS configuration and turn on Secure Boot. You may find here you need to enroll all factory default keys. Click yes and you can reset if you want to. We don't want to do that quite yet. We'll choose that to enabled and then standard. And then that's a secure boot setup. So now we can turn on TPM also. In trusted computing. Enable that and choose your TPM version. We're going to use the built-in one on the processor. Once you're done there, we can click on the X at the top or whichever is save and exit on your particular device. So now we can go back into Windows now that we've got our TPM and Secure Boot enabled. Again, go back into File Explorer, go into our USB stick, and we can run Setup again. You'll get the user account control. Click OK or Yes. And again, install Windows 11, just click on Next. Once again, it's going to check for updates. And then we get the Windows 11 setup again. So this is the agreement. Click on accept. Now it's going to get the updates. Just let it get on and do its thing. Next, it'll come up with a screen saying, making sure you're ready to install. And then we'll get to this section that says, ready to install. So this is your kind of last attempt or last option to stop this from happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Windows 11 Professional and we're keeping all of our personal files and applications. You can if you want to at this point you can choose that and change what to keep but we want to keep everything so we're just going to click on install and then you'll get a blue screen. Fortunately not a blue screen of death so that's absolutely great and it just says installing Windows 11. There is going to be a process meter and there will be a couple of reboots as well. If at this point your USB stick is actually made bootable in the BIOS, you can remove the USB stick now from your computer to prevent it trying to boot into the Windows setup when it does a reboot. Otherwise, you can just carry on and leave it in there. Be patient and let it do its thing. So there we go, there's been a, uh, a quick reboot and again, as it says at the bottom there, your computer may restart a few times. Just uh, let it go on and do its thing. Currently, as you can see, it's working on updates. And obviously, please keep your computer on. Now is probably not the greatest of times to turn your PC off. And there we go, we're back to our login screen. And then you'll run through the uh, the usual thing. Windows getting ready for you, etc., etc. Again, just be patient, let it do its thing. And there we go, we're back to our Windows desktop. And as you can see, all of our files and shortcuts settings etc are all exactly where they were when we left them and you should find now that your pc may be slightly more stable than it was previously i would definitely consider at this point once systems finish booting and all that kind of stuff probably a good idea to go over and update your chipset drivers for your motherboard that's definitely worth doing because windows will try and install the default ones from windows so you may have some benefit there also once you've done that a couple of reboots and i would definitely look at possibly updating your graphics card drivers as well, just in case. Again, those could have been reset to the Windows default ones, which are fine, they do the job, but you may find that there's slight performance increase and enhancements in the latest drivers. So there you go, pretty easy, pretty straightforward to do. Doesn't take a great deal of time and certainly is probably gonna be a little bit quicker than actually doing a completely fresh install, doing all the backups and then restoring your folders, installing all your games, all that kind of stuff. Definitely worth giving it a go if you're having problems with your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. Again, the Windows 10 process is virtually identical, apart from obviously the TPM and the Secure Boot are something which you don't really have to worry about so much. But hopefully this is gonna sort out your problems. If for some reason it hasn't, uh, either reach out to us, 
comment section below or on our Discord. You're more than welcome to join us there in the tech chat. You may find that this may not cure all of your problems. It may get to the point where Windows is just so messed up that it needs a fresh install. We will be doing a follow-up video on that, so again, check out the links in the video description. We will be updating that as soon as that video is available. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.